Okay, so we've been at the Hemochromatosis Society conference for medical professionals today, a new understanding of genetic hemochromatosis. Doctors and nurses, eminent professors from around the world, it's been a great day. Um, but included were a group of students from Hansworth Grammar School, uh, prospective biologists, prospective medical students, prospective doctors, getting a taste of what it's like to be at a professional conference. And they're with me now. Hi, folks. So um, let's ask a few questions, shall we? Um, so let's have a look. Fahana, uh, tell me, what have you thought of the day? Um, I thought it was quite inspiring to see how um, all the biologists and the scientists were so passionate about what they were doing. And I think that's really made me realise what I want to do in the future. Oh, that's excellent. So you had in mind to be a medical student anyway, did you? Yeah, definitely. So I think it's just um, made me want to pursue the career even more. Okay, and what did you think of the level of things? How, how much was flying above your head like it was mine and how much did you understand? Um, well, um, the diagrams were helpful. Some of the vocabulary was a bit tough, but um, you slowly start to figure it out. And I know there's some things that I would definitely need to Google at home, so <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, um, so in, um, say, shall we say, 2026, 2027, we can have you back here as a speaker? Possibly, maybe. <laughs> Okay, it's in the diary, all right? Okay, so, uh, sorry. Um, so, uh, Mohammed, um, tell me your experience. What did you think of the day? Yeah, it was, it was really fascinating. I was, a, like, not many people know about this uh, hemochromatitis, so <laughs> I think it's a good way to, well, be, like, for people to be aware of it, and I think it's better for people to realise if they do have it. Uh, well, actually, you raise a really good point, which is about awareness, um, and it's quite poor, even amongst some groups of doctors and you're the doctors of the future so we're hoping to start address that now I think so um, give me your opinion Ibrahim what did you think of the speakers today um, the speakers they're obviously very knowledgeable in their certain categories of what they're studying and um, it just gave us a taste of what will be like at lectures and universities and stuff the vocabulary they'll be using yeah, I think that's a really that's a really good point as well. Actually, it is a it is a bit of a higher level than the, when you're studying at A level, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So um, Hamza, um, let's see. Uh, what about uh, your future? Tell us what your plans are at the moment for studying. Uh, something to do with medicine. That's why I came to this uh, conference, and then this has helped to see what other stuff there are. Like there's medicine, there's dentistry, now there's he hemochromatosis. So yeah. There's lots of open books that you can go for, basically. Oh, well, that's good to know. And it's surprising how many disciplines are involved, isn't it, in, the, in the, just this one condition? Rheumatologists, hematologists, hepatologists, lots of ologists. Um, so I'm, am I OK to move down this end a little bit? So, um, Kazim, so you're, uh, is it Mr. Ahmed, uh, um, your biology and head of science? You've got to go back to and report to him, I presume, have you? Uh, what are you going to tell him about today? It was quite complex, but yet fascinating. And it was a really a good you know, experience for us to understand how complex and you know, how many symptoms hemochromatosis has and stuff like that. Uh, yes, I suppose that goes to the, back to the point about how many different disciplines are involved as well. Now he's a biologist, isn't he? Your, 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 um, and does, did he did he know about hemochromatosis at all? Yeah, he did. He he's the one who introduced it to you. Uh, so he was already aware before we contacted him about this this trip. Yeah. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, who haven't we spoken to? Uh, Joshua, um, are you planning to be a doctor now? Have we put you off or inspired you? Well, it's more of an inspiration to me than putting off. But it just shows like um, the wide areas of um, medicine and dentistry, and it just shows the there's lots of things that we really don't know about. And it, it, it gave me more of an inspiration just to look more into medicine. Okay, well, that's good to know. And I, I also think you raise another really good point is about what we don't know. And isn't it amazing how those professors are up there arguing amongst themselves about stuff they don't know? Uh, and you look at these people and they're supposed to be eminent experts and there's still things to be worked out. But um, have I spoken to all of you? Uh, I've missed you. Oh, no, no, we, we did a separate interview with Pav. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be on the front page of our website. So, <laughs> so I'll send you, we'll send you all of this. Thank you so much for taking part in the day, and I'm glad you found it useful. All right, all the best. Chromatosis Society's conference, um, a new understanding of genetic hemochromatosis, aimed at healthcare professionals, but we've had some young students along, uh, give them a bit of experience of what the medical world might be like. Uh, and this is Paven. Paven, have you enjoyed the day? Yes, it's been very interesting. Uh, well, that's, that's good. Now, Important question, you came here thinking that you might be interested in a career in medicine. 
have we inspired you further or put you off? You have actually inspired me further, like looking at all the presentations and how people come across and their own experiences. It's made me think like, yo, it's actually something that I might want to do in the future. And look into like G mutations, which I learned at school, like it's gone more in depth and it's actually like linked to what I've learned at school. And like all together, it's put it all together and I've kind of enjoyed it. Uh, well, I have to say I'm very impressed because I've been working uh, with genetic hemochromatosis for two years and all that stuff about genetics went above my head. D did you understand a lot of it? I did understand the basics as it went into more depth and then it kind of made me understand things that we've learned in school a bit more. And so all together, it's, it was uh, overall positive. OK, so it's all about context. And uh, your plans to go to university, I presume? Hopefully, yeah, to dentistry or medicine. So. OK, and uh, university choices yet? University of Birmingham or University of Manchester. So. OK, well, what, one's a bit close to home and one's a bit further away. So it depends how you're getting on with your parents, I guess. Yeah, I know. It depends at the time. <laughs> oh, well, I wish you all the very best in your career, whether it's medical or not. All right, thank you. No worries.